Well, commuters beware. All tow booths at the Harbor Tunnel are closed because of a Legionella scare. Yeah, the State Transportation Authority says two employees came down with Legionella. WJZ is live right now. Rachel Menentoff with what drivers heading to that area need to know. Rachel. Rick and Nicole, good evening. Even though this building is closed tonight, state and city health officials are on site trying to identify where exactly those employees contracted the bacteria, whether it was from working inside the building or from another source. MDTA announced Tuesday that two of its employees came down with what's known as Legionnaire's disease. And as a precaution, it shut down its administration building and some of its tolls while it works to try to find out where the disease started. So if your regular route takes you here through the toll road at I-895 at Baltimore Harbor Tunnel. It was just very congested. and Depending on the time of day, there may be a little bit more traffic. Dr. Neil Roy is the chairman of the ER at Sinai Hospital. He explained to us where Legionnaires comes from. It's reservoirs in water. So if they're water droplets like misters or steamers um, or typically like cool water mist, those droplets of water will carry the bacteria to where there you'll inhale it. He says the symptoms of Legionnaires are very much like the flu. The concern now, and I believe, is where did the reservoir of Legionella come from? MDTA says they're not sure whether the bacteria is actually inside its building, but for the safety of its employees and visitors, it decided to close the facility while they do a series of tests and inspections. I, I know it could make some people really sick. Well, I hope they're able to track it down and contain it quickly. Quickly. Go. Those two employees are being treated for the disease and are expected to be just fine. Dr. Roy with Sinai Hospital tells us the good news is that this bacteria is very easily treatable with a common antibiotic. Reporting live from Northeast Baltimore, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.